Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your monthly read for February. We're going to cover love, money, and career. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Piper. Welcome to Piper's Dragon Tarot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, and just so you know, you guys, the link to the unexpected, which is an extended read, will be below in the description box. Be sure to check that out. It's an extended read on Vimeo for $1.99. Gives you a little extra information that isn't contained in this read, and it's what you don't see coming. So, Pisces. Here we go. Let me move some cards here. Pisces. Love, money, career for February. Love, money, career for February. Love, money, and career for February, please. One more shuffle. Here we go. For Pisces, please. Love, money, and career. All right. Here we go, Pisces. Love. You got Page of Air. Money, you got, wow, the Justice card. And for career, you got the Nine of Earth. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, you got the Lover's card, the Sun, and the Three of Air. So as a general feel for the month, you may have, you may be making head or heart decisions about relationships. Um, So somebody may be, I don't know whether this is you guys or someone you're dealing with, but I feel like head or heart decisions need to be made. And some, some of you are free and some of you are heartbroken. In other words, there are two people in every relationship. And so although someone gains their freedom, someone feels the pain of that separation. And so some of you may be um, being separated with or making difficult decisions that, that may be good for you or... Um, Vice versa. So, because you do have the Three of Swords. I feel like you guys, for some reason, are stuck in a, like, between a rock and a hard place. So, no matter what you decide, someone's going to get hurt. And so, in the end, you have to do what's good for you. So, um, in love, you have the Page of Air. So, the Page of Air, there's some news. Um, challenging information. There could be a change of plans or, you know, you may get some truth in a situation or some information that makes you consider things on a different level. Um, I feel like you get some information that's not very positive. So maybe you feel a reconciliation is now not possible or it's information that affects the way you think about, um, love or another person or a relationship. Um, I feel like the page of air is a cause for concern on your part. If this isn't you, this could very well be the person that you're dealing with. Um, maybe you feel like they're of another mind, Pisces. Please clarify the page of air. Someone is being very serious here and uh, like someone has a very serious affect. And so this is what's causing the concern. Um, clarified by the hope card. Yeah, I feel like things are on a serious hope. You, you, somebody's got hope in the situation. I mean, on a serious note. Um, information is given that causes some concern or gives someone a serious affect. The hope card is about going forward um, and hoping for the best. Um, I feel like the situation needs to play itself out.
So on the bottom of the deck, you have the fortune card. I do feel like there's a good feeling. Someone's got a good feeling um, that there's going to be a fortunate outcome. Um, this is like after the fact. So when this is over, I do feel like There's some sort of fortunate ending here, like the, the space that you occupy afterwards is fortunate. And so <clears throat> whatever situation it is, whatever news this is, I feel like you guys get information and you're very guarded. You still have hope, but you're unsure about whether the situation is going to last or how it's going to turn out. You're hoping there's fortune. It's a fortunate situation or a fortunate outcome. Um, Yeah, and I do feel like there's a need to be patient here. Like something's coming around. Like it, this may not have happened yet, um, Pisces. The service card. I feel good when I can help others. Oh, and change. I can understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there may be a change in the way things work or the way that you do things. And about, it's, it's about being aware of what it takes to make something change. And so the card is about knowing that changes are good or nothing will change unless effort is made or unless you put effort into it with the service card here. Um, it's about um, getting some, getting out of it what you put in. So, If you don't put effort in, nothing's going to change here, is what they're saying. Um, because if you don't make decisions or you don't put effort in or you don't work towards change, the universe could make that decision for you and that sort of forces you into a corner. So that's never a place to be, Pisces. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio and the end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's time to work through your fear. Um, bottom of the deck, a new romantic cycle begins. Somebody is making a choice here. You're going to get some information um, that you're going to need to consider. Or there's a need to work through your fear or let go of fear. Put effort into some change. When I see this card about tough cycles, um, ending or the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is like the last push through. There's still some work to be done, Pisces. Um, it's about pushing through it and giving effort um, that enables you to come through a period of change, letting go of fear, I feel like some of you come through this with a friend in the end. Somebody may, be end, may end up in the friend zone here. Um, but regardless of that, on the bottom of this deck, a new romantic cycle begins. So um, I feel like you guys may be putting effort in so that something changes and it ends on a positive note. Keeping this person as a friend. It's about working your way through something. Um, 
this is like the finish, the like the ending of a cycle here for you guys. So in money, you have the justice card. Um, so this is about doing the right thing. Justice card is about, could be about um, legal decisions, fair and just decisions, you know, doing what you know is right or standing up for your beliefs. Um, So the spirit is saying the money is just a benefit. It's more about doing the right thing. Well, so some of you don't even care about money. It's more about standing up for what you believe in here. Um, there's also an element of getting it right the first time. So... Yeah, they're saying focus on justice, doing things the right way. Money proliferates when you do things correctly or when you do things with, when you do things by the book for some of you. Um, some of you are finally being recognized. If you were waiting for a, like a legal decision, you get the decision this month. Um Okay. All right. Some of you need to stop messing around. And when I say that, you, I mean, you know, you may not be very committed to like, maybe you spend too much money or you're frivolous. You know, you're in, you're out, you're up, you're down. You don't know which way you're going. And, and, um, it could be a lack of dedication as well. And so, um, you also got the love card. And so, for some of you, you may have been in and out of love or not serious about love. And that was maybe affecting your finances, um, but doing things like in the right vein or doing things by the book, you know, um, making fair decisions is really the better way to go here. Some of you are meeting someone in the middle to get back on track. Um, for some of you, different disagreements with a, with a love situation, like maybe, you know, your love situation is affecting your money situation. Um, you, so you need to be a little bit more driven, like a more driven, dedicated force, um, The frivolity card is like not being serious enough. And so there needs to be more dedication in the situation. So, and all, you know, you could be totally distracted by your love life. And that's why you're not dedicating yourself to finances at this time. But now it's time to do things right here in February. Do the right thing. You got the doubt card. I release all the need, the need to know all the answers. Oh, yeah, and judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Bottom of the deck is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So Pisces. There's a need. Okay, this is about, they're telling you that you need to stop doubting your own judgment. Um... Stop doubting your assessment. Yeah, they're saying it's time to buckle down and do the right thing. This could be, you know, somebody else could have been distracted as well. I don't know if this has to do with a partner. Um, Yeah, I am getting, they keep saying stay straight, Pisces, stay straight. So release your doubt. 
you may not get all the answers right away with the doubt card. Um, there is some judgment happening, some sort of assessment, but it's about releasing doubt in the assessment. It, it, again, I'm getting everything is better as long as everybody stays on the up and up in the situation. No more lack of dedication here. So your finances are better than they have been in the past. And it's about also don't judge yourself so harshly. Um, if you, you know, if you weren't dedicated to, you know, watching the finances because you were, you know, maybe you fell in love or you got involved in a relationship, um, there's no longer any need to um, be so hard on yourself. Just get back on track. That's all there is to it. The answers you need are coming. So as you release the need to know all the answers, the answers you need come. So this is about believing and having faith, um, good communication. So someone's going to tell you something here. The answers you need are coming. Pisces. Bottom of the deck is confidence is your key to success. So being more confident, doing things right, being more dedicated. So, and I feel like you guys are going to excel as soon as you realize that dedication gets rewards. You just need to devote yourself to it here with the justice card. If there's a legal situation for some of you that are involved, for some of you that have been waiting for legal situations, I feel like it works out here. If there, if it, if, if you're waiting for legal representation to give you some answers, those answers are coming. If, if some of you, um, if a legal, a legal decision, um, comes down, um, I don't feel like you're waiting, but I, I do feel like um, yeah, but I feel like it's coming. You may get it in in uh, February for those of you waiting for a legal decision or a judge to make a decision. It's coming in February. Um, Spirit is saying, true story, true story. <laughs> so expect communication and expect answers here. So in career, you have the nine of earth. This card is really good for people who are really successfully self-employed. Um, the nine of earth is about being independent and standing on your own. And um, so if some of you are business owners here. For some of you, the nine of earth is about realizing you can do this. Um, it's time to enjoy the fact that you can take care of yourself on your own without help from anyone. Self-supporting, I'm getting. Um, working independently of others with the nine of earth and feeling good about that. This is a really good card to get. For some of you, this independence is a little bit slow in coming. Um, some of you are thinking with this card that you want to go on your own. Like, am I capable of doing this? Um,
some of you are realizing that you're pretty strong and you're pretty capable and you're thinking you want to go on your own. Some of you want to become self-employed um, or some of you have something successful on the side as well with this card. I also feel like some of you realize that career opportunities abound when you realize there are many, many more directions you could go in here. Um, and there you, some of you may are like suddenly realizing, oh my God, I could go on my own. Like there's so much I could do here. Please clarify the nine of earth. Got a couple cards. Scholar card, education, learning, discovering. Um, some of you are going back to school to learn how to do certain things. You, you're going back to school because somebody's not getting back together with something here. So that's a disconnection or a lack of getting back together. So, you know, some of you don't want to. Wow, some of you. Some of you have been independent for a while and you may not want to go back to work after this time of independence. You've educated yourself or you're going to educate yourself so that you don't have to go back to it here. Um, bottom of the deck is the widower card. There's a certain amount of sadness that goes along with that. I'm getting slight pang of remorse. There's a slight pang of remorse when you realize you're going to be without either a person, an employer, or um, an entity in a long run. Um, or this person may be um, sad about you leaving. Or this company or this entity, if this has to do with your job. Um, but I feel like it's passing it's in passing. For some of you, this relationship that you're wrapping up over here has something to do with this. Um, I feel like there's a certain amount of freedom that you're thinking you could achieve in all aspects of life if you um, if you were on your own. And so some of you are definitely educating yourself so you don't have to go back or you're getting ready to be on your own and you're thinking that your career is also, it's like all encompassing, I feel. Um, Yeah, I feel like you guys are thinking it would be a very good thing to be independent in more than a few things here. Career advice for Pisces. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So they're asking you to dedicate yourself to it. If that's what you want. Whoa. And adversity. Rising to the challenge. Accepting that challenges are the best way to learn. And any mistakes... Obviously, learning from those as well. So it's about for now. You have to dedicate yourself to a situation or use discipline so that you can um, overcome certain issues and mistakes from your past. If, it, if it's a challenging situation, there were mistakes made, but discipline gets you over the hump. Bottom of the deck is peace, and that's about releasing all the negative energy. Um, this is where you end up where when it's over, Pisces. I feel like you guys have a deep need for certain situations to come to an end, and this is all about this month, discovering where you want to go and what you want to do and what the possibilities are and how you're going to get through it. You know, what about the other person? What about their journey? What about their feelings? Um, and so this is a kind of a big month for you guys, I feel like. All right, career, please. One moon card for career for Pisces. There it is. 
balance, spirituality, and practicality. And you also had in back of that, don't let pride get in your way. Um, oh, you got it again. New romantic cycle begins. So you guys are on the verge of something romantically here in your future. Just so you know. I know you're thinking about wrapping something up. I don't see other people in this reading except that you are thinking of wrapping something up and you, you're going to, something's going to come in for you romantically. Um, so balancing spirituality and practicality is about, it's, it's, you do have to put some effort into it. You can't just rely on the universe for everything. <laughs> um, and so making sure you, you follow up your spiritual practices with practical, um, efforts putting some effort in you have to balance that out with effort um the universe is going to give you what you want but if you don't show them that you're putting in effort they're not just going to give it to you also if there's anything that you feel bad about or don't be too proud to admit that you've made mistakes There may, you know, if you if you feel like you made mistakes in relationships or issues in the past, it's about learning from that. The failure card is like people make mistakes. This is what happens. It's it happens every day. You overcome it. You rise to the challenge. You use discipline. All of this comes about um, and frees you up so that you can continue on with your future. It's about uh, realizing the lessons and learning from them and going forward. Some of you just are really getting more in line with your future when you put aside, I don't know why I feel like a situation you feel a little bit embarrassed about, like you made mistakes and you don't want to admit to them and that's hard, but it's all about forward movement and um, wrapping up difficult journeys here for you guys. Okay. Let's do one card for spiritual guidance from Wisdom of the Golden Path for the month of February for Pisces. Pisces, please, for February. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to read from the book. You guys got the soulmate card. This is very much about a person who you may have thought was for you or... Some of you, for some of you, this person came into your life to teach you a very valuable lesson. You may have thought that they were the person for you, or you may have thought that they were the one you were going to spend the rest of your life with. Um, but for others of you, it's about meeting your soulmate as well and realizing you may not be with the right person. For some of you, it's about realizing that your past no longer has anything to do with your future. And it's time to let go of certain things so that you can experience true love with your soulmate. Okay, there's a quote here in the beginning that I'm going to read by Lao Tzu. It reads, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone gives you courage. And the meaning of the card is this. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another and love becomes all embracing thought. Through a touch, word, or glance, love unites you to your beloved. The most precious thing is love, and this is your season of love, a time of romance and happiness. You are both beautiful souls. Look within you and you will see it. There is a pearl in each of your hearts and you can feel it. Through the eyes of love, you will see and feel love's infinite spiritual realm. United by love, nothing matters but each other. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to check out The Unexpected, the link below in the description box. And if you need a personal reading with me, just email me at pthaggett.com and we can discuss how to go forward. Thank you again. See you next month. Bye.